Quebec has been involved in agriculture for many, many years. And our, if I want to say, our roots were the motors that you see around you now at the moment. Uh, in every agriculture application, I challenge you not to see a WEG motor on these uh, applications. Whether it's on a pivot, whether it's on a pump, whether it's on a mill, WEG motors are what I call the brawn of agriculture. And then WEGs evolved from that, where now we start looking at where you look around now, generators, backup power, then we have um, solar, very, very important, you know, solar, what are we doing and how are we going forward? And then we have feeding power onto the agriculture plants and that sort of stuff. And then it's the controlling the energy that, um, that, that, that they needed with variable speed drive. So with that, we've really become innovative and evolved ourselves in that space. So if I give you an example, uh, if I give you an, an eco world, an eco agriculture world that I love comparing whenever I go to an oil spread, right? If you have a farmer that is busy doing sugar cane and, and he grows his own sugar cane, then you have the producer who takes the sugar cane and produces it into sugar. Right? The methane gas and the innovation of holding that methane gas now becomes an energy that we're able to store for that customer and the farmer can then consume that energy and form an ecosystem within a region such as Nalspread. So that's innovative stuff that WEG has been trying to do to make sure we uh, continue sustaining the agriculture industry in South Africa. You know, the climate is one aspect. Uh, the, the farmers are very much on a, a, a huge drive to make sure that they go into energy saving because ultimately all those extra costs that they have don't make them as lucrative as they used to be. The costs are rising. You know, we all know the tariffs of electricity is rising and that sort of stuff. So we at this stage now is on a massive drive to make sure we make our products to the agriculture industry more energy efficient. So from the motors, make, saving energy up to 30%, uh, you would see the demo that you had there from how we've evolved saving to putting it onto what we call a variable speed drive. Instead of running it 24-7, we're now managing how the farmers or the agriculture industry runs their only when they need to produce that energy do they then do it. And you know, 30% anyway, any household or even a farmer having 30% savings is huge for them in that space as to how they can then evolve themselves from that. WEG is Brazil, the original from Brazil. And with the innovation that we've done from Brazil, we've been able to take best practices around the whole world uh, from our agriculture, because agriculture is worldwide, you know, Africa is huge, South Africa is massive, but agriculture has evolved many, many aspects around the world. So from WEG's perspective, we take, uh, for example, what came from, and I'm pretty sure it came from Peru, came out here to South Africa, where you have self-sufficient uh, borehole pumping. So you have a solar application that doesn't need any power because the solar feeds into a drive that pumps the motor and makes sure that there's no power required in a remote borehole. And that practice was done in Peru that came to South Africa. So we're able to share and best practice around where we see a, a, su a suitable within South Africa. So yes, we try and use those innovations. So we have uh, customers, obviously, such as the farmers and such as the agriculture markets. But what is very important as well is if you go around here, we have customers such as original equipment manufacturers. So a pump manufacturer, a compressor, a mill, a conveyor, a Greco, one of our customers. Yeah, we're providing products to them to provide to the farmers, not there. So our partnership for this is critical because not only do we meet to direct farmers and the and the agriculture industry, but we get to meet our original manufacturers here and to support them because we're the originator of the product that they become a byproduct onto farmers. So not only, not only direct, such as gensets or the direct uh, um, components, but we part of the chain to add alternative values as well. So we continue doing that with the partnership throughout the whole uh, community. Yeah? So localization, we were originally bringing all our motors, as you saw from here, and all our products and gensets originally from Brazil and China, like most suppliers do. And for localization, what we've done now is we bring the core products and we assemble in South Africa. So South Africa has now become the complete assembly line. So that's more employment, that's more localization, that gives us you know, complete uh, support into the agriculture industry because now a farmer or the original equipment manufacturer I spoke to you about 
can now tell us what do they exactly require and we're able to customize and produce localization. So we're very, very strong in localization. And then in terms of the, uh, in, you know, the, the environment and the economy and stuff, it's very, very, very important for us. Because what we're doing at the moment is, like a, so what we're doing at the moment is, we're busy on, so it's funny enough, when you go to communities, and I gave you one earlier about Nalspreit, but now I'll tell you about the one for Rustenburg. I was in Rustenburg yesterday, where we're very, very strong in the mines there. But now what's happening with the mines, the mines are saying us as a major supplier to the mines, how would you sustainably be able to support the local community? And with the local community, we're able to now train them on how to install solar uh, um, operations, how to do maintenance on a motor that could be on a farm. So we're, we're self-skilling them and making sure that that community around those mines that we're quite strong on, wherever it is, then becomes an agricultural footprint and the community becomes very supportive and are able to be self-sufficient around that core mining industry. So we're working very, very hard around South Africa at this stage now.